greetings of the day to all of you scholars in the series of oratory today i will tell you about the reinventing of epidictic oratory dear scholars previously in the lectures we have discussed about reinventing of deliberative oratory and and reinventing of judicial oratory in the series of this oratory today we are going to discuss and highlight on the epidictic oratory dear scholars i mean tell you where the epidictic oratory is to be used it is used in the ceremonial functions dear friends under this scheme of oratory the scholars the statesmen the administrators uses the virtue and vice the virtue refers to the good deeds of the persons those who have done good things in the nation building in upgradation of the life of the masses and the citizens and help created abundance for the people of the country for their meant and to procure all the things for their safety security and freedom from hungerness and starvation so in this regard the most the most attractive orations are given by the pericles he spoke in favor of the brave men those who fought in the war and brought laurels and freedom to the country likewise statesmen also do the good things for the nation and in this series of good deeds of the persons the the ceremonies take place on the days of festivals holidays and further it is as a mark of respects to the brave persons those who contributed in the nation building character building and disciplined life of a country these scholars we must not forget that it talks of the past time but from the past events we can also make a plan and think for better future by reminding their sacrifices their contribution their good deeds in the nation building so dear scholars earlier i have referred the details with regard to the deliberative oratory and judicial oratory in the series of this the epidictic becomes very important because the examples can be taken from the good deeds of the brave and good persons those who sacrificed their life for the betterment of the country in this 
regard we must also not forget the advancement of tools technology science and other developments simultaneously because we have reached from the liberalism socialism and uh, public private partnership globalization further the boundaries are being narrowed down therefore this dictatorship becomes very important not only with regard to the good deeds of particular persons from a specific country but at the level of world at large because the boundaries of the nation are being narrowed down on account of globalization interaction between the global leaders it going to be closer and closer so the series on the oratory today goes to its conclusion but some more important points will be taken up in some more lecture to clarify the things taking into consideration the science and technological development and interaction with the global leaders for the betterment of not only the country but in making the peaceful new world order thank you